Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So obviously, uh, Comic-Con is this week. I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming out. Like, I'm going to have a lot of content coming out this week because it's, I mean, it's the week leading up to Comic-Con. I'm going to have some trailer predictions. I'll cover every single thing that drops because there's a lot of things that are coming out. Any kind of announcement that does happen, obviously, before Comic-Con drops, obviously, I will do some videos on. So, yeah, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk into content like this. And also... Definitely go follow me on Twitch. The plan is, and I'll do a video talking about this a little bit more in depth later on, just sort of like talking about what my plan is and stuff for Comic-Con. Like I'm going to do a Comic-Con what to expect video, breaking down all the panels, all the information and, and all the times and stuff, how you can watch or at least follow the information. But what I'm going to be doing actually is streaming on Twitch. Like that's my plan is I will be streaming on Twitch. My Twitch channel is Appetite for the Dead. The link is down below or in the description anyways. I'm going to be streaming there on Twitch. Twitch and obviously we'll, we'll follow all the news as it's all dropping and yeah I'll talk with you guys maybe we'll play some games or whatever but we're gonna follow everything that does drop any trailer that drops I'm gonna react to it live on there I'll do both for like I'll do it for Tales and for The Walking Dead and then as soon as The Walking Dead's panel is over as soon as that trailer is out and I've reacted to it I'll get to work I'll do my video on that and then we'll, I'll do my video on Tales of the Walking Dead and whatnot afterwards, and I'll get into all of that. So definitely go follow me on Twitch. It's going to be a very, very big day. I'll probably do some streams beforehand, but that's that's the plan. That's on Friday. We did see something here that I, uh, or I saw something anyways, that it doesn't technically really mean anything, but there's, there's no denial of it kind of thing, right? Or at least, I don't know, maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much here, but I, I do wonder if this little, at uh, this little quote here, or I guess this, this part here from the article actually hints at a possible Michonne project in the works in the future. And so, yeah, I want to, I'll, I'll get into this right here. So I tweeted yesterday this, this thing here, and I'll leave a link to the article down below, but it says she's got a number of projects in development. Just don't ask about Wakanda or The Walking Dead. Uh, Guerrera can reveal precisely nothing about her upcoming role in Wakanda Forever or about her part in the entitled Wakanda series for Disney+. Plus. She keeps similarly mum on her potential involvement in future iterations of The Walking Dead. And, uh, you know, for me, when I saw that, obviously, I was uh, I was super excited. I mean, a lot of, a lot of you guys seem to be really hyped just based off of the reaction to it. And it's something that it's, it really doesn't really mean anything because obviously there's no confirmation that something is happening. But it's just the fact that, you know, like a, a lot of, I guess where I'm coming at it from is mostly that, you know, a lot of the fan base or a certain part of the fan base acts like the movies aren't happening. Rick and Michonne are done with The Walking Dead. The thing is, like, if they're, if they were done with The Walking Dead, they would just say so, right? Like, do they owe anyone anything? They don't at all. If they were done, they would just be like, no, no, I'm done. Like, they would just say it. But obviously, when it comes to projects like The Walking Dead or Wakanda Forever, she has to be quiet on it because, well, I mean, just the usual reasons, right? Like, you're not allowed to talk about things like that because they have to announce it. Or they're working on stuff and they don't want to, you know, put some stuff out there that might not end up happening kind of thing, right? So that's why they, they hold on to a lot of information and only really release stuff that they're confident in, like, doing, right? And so when I see this, it's kind of like, I, I do wonder, like, if she's, if Denai Guerrera is, is quiet and doesn't want to talk about any involvement she has with The Walking Dead. Like, that is something that, I mean, I, I wonder why. Honestly, I really do wonder why. Because she's also quiet and can't say anything about her involvement or her role in Wakanda Forever. That's interesting. You know, I think with Denai Guerrera, like when she did leave the show, there was this belief that she would likely be in the movies. She never signed on to anything, but she said she was definitely very open and she would love to return in the Walk Dead movies. It was very different because with Andrew Lincoln, it was like, yeah, obviously he's coming back to do the movies. But with Denai Guerrero, it was like, yeah, like, I, I'm open to it. I definitely would do it. But, like, it depends on a bunch. I can't remember exactly what the quote was. But I, I know we were all under the belief of, well, it seems like she will. It's just that it's going to take some time. So it's likely going to be, like, the second movie or something like that. It won't be right away, right? And so I do wonder what she knows. Like, if she can't talk about it, you know, like, I, I really wonder what she knows about the whole situation. Just because, honestly, I really do miss Denai and just... You know, her involvement in anything Walking Dead related, she hasn't been around, like, doing things at all in a really long time. And it does suck because, like, I'm used to her just being around, right? Throughout all of the series, like, really since season uh, three, like, 
she's always been around and at you know early on she wasn't really a main character then she you know she became a lead character and then became pretty much the face of the walking dead as soon as rick left right like for season nine and season ten i mean out of all the characters obviously there was daryl carol and maggie i mean maggie was gone for a bit so there was just daryl and carol Michonne was there and out of all three I mean I know there's there is Daryl but I don't know like Michonne has that really close connection to Rick I would say Michonne was probably like the lead character at least for season nine because I know in season 10 she really took a step back because the actress was doing other things and so that's why we only got like what four or five episodes of her I think it was in season 10 so she wasn't really in it a lot but I still miss that character obviously she's a huge fan favorite and it would be awesome to see her in something at some point in the future and you know seeing something like that i that's exciting because like if she's not coming out and saying no i'm not doing anything or no there hasn't really been talks of anything then that's really good but if she can't say anything that means there's probably something to say right so i'm definitely really excited for that i don't know about any potential michonne comic-con announcement i feel like they probably could do it but it's like it really depends on what they have planned and I don't want to get too, too excited about all of this because, like, there there might not be anything that does come out. But we'll have to wait and see what happens this week, right? Like, we'll actually have to wait and see what happens later on. Like, in terms of anything regarding Michonne, I feel like it's going to be, you know, just, just, a, just a casting announcement. Like, she'll be in the movie. I think that's probably going to be it. I mean... Would I love a Michonne spinoff? Yes, definitely. Like <laughs> Out of all the spinoffs, I think I'd be the most excited for that one, just because, I mean, it's it's Michonne. So I think that would be great. You know, I, I'm definitely really excited for that. Other than that, you know, out of potential Comic-Con announcements, like I said earlier in the video, I am going to do a video talking about, you know, just like my predictions for it, all the information and stuff that I think they could announce. And I'll go more in detail and I'll sort of put a graphic up or whatever, just kind of saying what I think that, you know, they could announce, but I really do think they are going to address the Rick movie. It's just, it depends on what, right? Like, it really depends on what they say, because, like, a fan is going to ask them, right? Like, they definitely do get questions from the fans, like, every year at Comic-Con, they always do. The, the last couple of years, they haven't, because it wasn't held in person, but I do think, or at least, I guess that was the difference, because I think they read questions from Twitter or something like that. I, I could be wrong, but yeah, in person, obviously, you have the fans there. They're going to be asking questions. Someone's going to ask something about the Rick movie. They're going to ask for an update. It's going to have to be addressed, right? And I think Gimple knows that. Like, Gimple, for the last however long, has been avoiding this stuff for a while. <laughs> and, like, man, I, I think he knows going there that everyone's going to be asking about Rick. Like, you know, they're talking about the, the final show or final season here. Uh, they're talking about Tales. But everyone wants to know where is Rick and what's happening with that movie. So there's going to be an update. We are going to get one and literally might be the same update, but they are going to talk about it. So I'm kind of excited for that because I'm kind of excited to react to it. Because if there's no news, I'm just going to be pissed off. <laughs> but like, if there is news, if there is something there, then, I, I, then I'm, I'm happy. Because I remember a couple of months ago, Dwayne Charles Manweller saying that there was going to be something... Andrew Lincoln related or it was something like that like he, he said it on Instagram a long long time ago it might have been in February or whatever March but he said something like there was going to be some sort of announcement soon or people are like are we going to get some sort of Rick announcement or something like that or whatever and then he said like soon soon and then I think later on he said well not soon I don't mean it like right away and then I remember a lot of us thinking okay well he probably means comic-con because that's in like three or four months so I think that's what we, we were thinking then and I'm, I'm wondering if that's what he meant like if, if he meant comic-con or if he means like when the show is over kind of thing like at the end of november so like I, I think honestly i know there's a lot of rick movie doubters out there i there's a lot of them there's gonna be something that they say right about the movie like they're, they're gonna talk about it it might be the same thing and we could all be disappointed there but i'm definitely really interested in it like that is something that is gonna make this panel very interesting right like does he confirm some stuff? Does he say certain things? Or is he going to say the same exact thing? Because obviously it's something that a lot of us just, we want, like, honestly, it's not even that crazy. Like, it's really not that crazy of a thing. Like, we just want a release date, like, just to know when they're planning. So, so like, then we can kind of see the overall universe plan, right? So, say they say, like, fall or spring 2024, then we're all, like, in our heads thinking, okay, so the Daryl show and Isle of the Dead are probably going to have one season each before that show comes out, or maybe one of them will have two seasons. And so, you know, based off of wherever the story is going to be for those shows, it's somehow going to lead into that first movie potentially. And then we can just kind of talk about a lot of that, right? Which I think would be really cool. And that's the funny thing that I will say 
now that I'm thinking about it, just this is kind of random and off topic here. But, you know, Tales of the Walking Dead, I think, should have started a little bit sooner. Just because, like, that whole story probably could have been told over, like, two episodes of Tales of the Walking Dead, to be honest. And I think it actually could have been really great. Maybe you could have got rid of a lot of those characters and just had, like, Elizabeth Kublik, uh, Dr. Bennett, and, like, Jadis, right? And you could have just did some sort of story there. Like, I think you could have just did something like that and fans would have absolutely loved it. Anyways, this week's going to be a very big week. Obviously, I'm, I'm very hyped. A lot of you guys are as well. And so every anything that drops, I'm going to do a video on immediately. So definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you do want more Walking Dead content like this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.